text messages in which were saved from one of his own citizens. The court ruled that Zero Lucy had never been properly confirmed to his last position as Puerto Rico's Secretary of State, making him ineligible to become its governor. by Neon, presenting Loose, a psychological thriller, raised as the most provocative film of the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. Loose is an all-star high school student, but when a highly charged conflict arises with his teacher, suspicions mount and loyalties are challenged as the community unravels. With stellar performances from Oscar winner Octavia Spencer, Naomi Watts, Tim Roth, and Calvin Harrison Jr., Loose is hailed as one of the most astonishing accomplishments in American cinema. Loose is now playing in select cities, additional markets throughout August. Remind me of this text message at 9.05 a.m. Remind me of this text message at 9.05 a.m. We will be back in the office shortly and Laura will take a look, but that is weird. You can look like the, you know, the trite phrase at this point, but the consoler in chief. You can have these sort of hero moments. And the president, all he did yesterday was detract from that by launching... they have been launching is around his rhetoric, around his policies, and around his actions. And the criticism that the president is firing back is really has nothing to do with policy. It's about uh, making fun of Beto O'Rourke's name, um, Shep Smith's ratings, calling Joe Biden sleepy and boring. It's not a policy conversation. It's an attack on people's appearance and people's personalities. Uh, and that's where I, I really see this disconnect where we're so outside of the normal political attacking and back and forth because there's no policy conversation going on from the president at this point. It does take a different kind of person to see what the president saw in that hospital than get on the plane and tweet what he tweeted for his head in that place. We should point out, too, he called Sherrod Brown a failed presidential candidate with zero percent. Sherrod Brown's never run for president. He considered it and then decided in March not to run. Now to that speech, Jonathan Capehart, that you're writing about by Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden, who lit into the president at a campaign event in Iowa yesterday, accusing the president... Hey, they're friends. Friendly, just noisy. Come here. Rhonda, 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 come here. Rhonda, 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 Rhonda. Oh, really? Okay. I, she should come when I call her. They just bark at each other. It's like. Really? You know what? Dogs can always tell the difference. Sometimes people can't. Of 